Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video recipe. And in this one, and by popular demand, I'll show you how to make delicious buttery puff pastry entirely from scratch. Once you know how to make it, you can go on to make some fantastic recipes with it. Like these mouth-watering pasties and sausage rolls. And in my very next video, I'll use it to make these stunning steak pasties, or as we like to call them in the UK, steak bakes. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. And I'd like to thank the Patreon and PayPal supporters for their very kind help. I'll be doing the shout out and name splash a little later in the video. OK, let's get on with today's recipe. Right, let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need 250 grams of unsalted butter, and that's about 9 ounces, 8.8 .8 ounces to be exact, and I'll be using it in two parts. For the first part, cut off one third of the butter and put the other two thirds back in the fridge for now. You can use salted butter if that's all you have, just leave half the salt out of the main recipe. Now dice the butter into 13 millimetres, that's half inch cubes, and I'm having to work fast here because the weather's pretty hot and my kitchen is really warm at the moment. OK, next job. Now add the flour to a large bowl and a bowl big enough so you can get your hands in. And then add the salt and mix it in. Now you can add the butter and start to rub it in with your fingers until all the butter lumps are gone. This should take around three minutes in real time. Once yours looks like this, and it breaks apart after tightly squeezing it together, it's done. Now add the cold water, and using my trusty wooden spoon handle, I'll give it a quick mix. And finally, I'll add the lemon juice. This acid is added to make the gluten strands more elastic, which helps in the rolling out and the separating of the layers when baking. Lime juice or vinegar will do the same job. Now bring it together as much as you can while it's still in the bowl. Right, time to tip it out onto the bench and finish it off by hand. It'll seem a little too dry at first, but it will come together. Don't be tempted to add any extra water. Once it's together, use your bench scraper to form it into a rectangle. And that's your basic pastry dough made. Now get it into a plastic food bag or cling film and get it into the fridge for one hour. Soon as your pastry's in the fridge, you need to start to prepare the butter. Place the remaining butter on a piece of parchment paper, approximately 25 by 18 centimetres, that's 10 by 7 inches. Put the butter in the middle of the paper and place another piece of paper on top. Now start pressing and rolling it out with your rolling pin. I like to use a cloth underneath to stop it sliding around. Now what you're aiming for is to end up with a 12 centimetre or 5 inch square. Now you won't get a perfect square first time. You'll need to keep trimming the edges and placing the edges back on top of the butter and do a little bit more. Eventually you'll end up with a perfect square. Don't worry if the butter's getting a little soft at this stage, in fact it actually helps. Once you reach the required size, like mine, place the top paper back on and get it into the fridge. It'll need about 30 to 45 minutes to set again, 
So with the butter and the pastry in the fridge now, they should both be ready to use at the same time. And at this point, I hope you don't mind if I give my two recipe books a bit of a plug. The books have lots of our favourite easy to follow recipes from our work kitchens in them. Both books are available in the website shop along with lots of other equipment I use in the videos. And by popular demand, the skeleton style oven gloves will soon be available too. Just click on the eye icon top right of your screen and that will take you directly to the website shop. Right, once the time's up, take your pastry out of the fridge. Start by flouring the bench. Sprinkle a little flour on the pastry and on the pin too. And begin to roll it out. What you're looking for is a 30 by 18 centimeter, that's 12 by 7 inch rectangle. Now straighten up the sides by hand and tidy it up as best you can. Time to get the butter onto the pastry. Carefully peel off the papers. Keep those parchment papers handy by the way, we can use them again later. Place it on the top half of the pastry, leaving a small edge around the top and sides. Now carefully pull the bottom part over the butter and gently press around the edges. So turn the pastry 90 degrees and start to roll it out again to the same 12 by 7 inch rectangle. Now this will be classed as the first roll. Once you're happy with it, brush off any excess flour, then fold the bottom up by one third. And now fold the top down by one third. Now gently pat it down. Using your parchment papers, neatly wrap it up. Now that needs to go back in the fridge for 20 minutes. And we need to repeat that process another three times. And all we're doing from now on is building up the layers in the pastry. Some like to do this three times, but I prefer to do four times. Once the time's up, you need to do exactly the same for the second roll and fold. Roll it out. Straighten out the sides, top and bottom. Fold it into thirds. And get it back into the fridge for a further 20 minutes. And I'll quickly go through the third roll and fold. And each time you do this, you're adding more and more layers of butter and pastry. And this is the fourth and final fold. Do exactly the same again. Right, by this time we've built up quite a few layers. Now it's very rare we use this homemade pastry in our work kitchens. That was just far too much work for the amount of goods we were turning out. We had to use the commercially produced puff pastry but it's well worth the effort for home recipes. And once you taste it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now on this occasion, get it into a plastic food bag and into the fridge. And that's it. After chilling again for 20 minutes, your homemade delicious buttery puff pastry is ready to use. Now you can keep this in the fridge for a few days or freeze it for future use. Now like I said earlier, I'll be using this one to make these mouth-watering steak pasties and that video should be ready in a couple of days. So if you want to try them when the video comes out, make sure your pastry is in the fridge and ready to go. And I'll save the thumbs up for the end of that video. And as promised at the beginning, here is the latest list of my Patreon and PayPal supporters. And they are Tracy Hall, James W. Covington, Clint Hall, Matthew Manducci, Daniel Kinder, 
Justin Carpenter, Tim J, Kerry Bolas, Andrew Bateman, David Rabb, James Dodds, Kimberly Andre and Rafalina Kurtajaja, Stephen Elliott, Simon Nibel, Doomspark and Suzanne Sidel. Thanks very much guys, I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen and bye for now.